Man, you know what? I want to do this every holiday, man. I want to do this every holiday. Man. Bongo no don't make a good tidy again. <laughs> I was going to do one like, Bongo! <laughs> Hop into Twitter right now. This one is coming in from Ajima Clothing. It says, and PM the presenter, hashtag the drive, hashtag why switch. PM the presenter, you do all. I love you, I love you, man. I love you back, my brother. <laughs> so I love you guys that show me on Twitter. It's crazy, man. I don't know. I don't know how to take it, but I really appreciate the love. You understand? Now in a bit, okay, the phone lines are going to be activated right here. And I want to talk to you. I mean, me be in the lines now. I mean, see, I need a different. They can't black la. So black la. So that's how it's going to be right now. So like I said, for those of you who just joined us, black la simply means proud to be black. That's my own jargon. So if you're proud to be black, then you have to say it with that energy. You get it? Black la is spelled B-L-A-C-K-L-A. Black la. So if you're proud to be black, then you have to say it with that energy. You get it? And black la is spelled B -L -A -K -L -A. Yeah, black la like that with energy. And the movement, I've been running for like six years now. <laughs> the idea is to campaign against skin bleaching, to promote made in Ghana, and also to empower the youth out there to keep their hustle legal. Because I believe if you're proud to be black, you never bleach your skin trying to look like somebody else out there. Yeah, you have to love your melanin, yeah, even by jar. And if you're proud to be black, you would love to purchase things made in Ghana to make sure Ghana grows. And if you're proud to be black, you keep your things legal so that people don't tag black people 